Hello, this is Benjamin with ARI, your website company. And this is just going to be a simple demonstration of the ARI mobile app. I have the mobile app open uh, on my phone here. Let's go ahead and run through how to add in a unit. Before we get started, just know that the app can be used to add in any new used or new non-current unit uh, that you have in stock on location that is 2006 and newer that we have in the ARI database. Once you have the app open, you'll hit the large green plus up in the upper right-hand corner. And now you can search by the year, make, model. So we'll go ahead and do a 2020. Let's go Can-Am. <clears throat> And let's see if we can find an Outlander. All right, so we've got quite a few suggestions that we can go ahead and look through. So let's go with the 850 and we'll click the suggestion. All right, location, if you have multiple sites, you could, of course, um, put in that location. VIN, I don't have a VIN for this one, but it's not required, so it's not a big deal. Uh, call for price, obviously you can set it as call for price, uh, web price if you want to put in a price, uh, the exact same options as if you were in the regular desktop version of the inventory manager. And of course, you also have the best price and whatnot as well. We'll go ahead and use the stock image for now. Let's click on Add. And unit is added. Awesome. Now that we've got that unit added, let's say that we wanted to go in and add in some more additional photos. We certainly could. Let's go into Photos. Now you can see that there is a uh, selection of stock images here. You can also take one from your phone using uh, this button right here. Or if you need to look one up that you've already taken on your phone that you want to add in, you could always put that in as well. Let's go ahead and just choose to use the click on the stock image here. And we'll jump back. And now as a demonstration of what this looks like now on your site and that it is posted, let's jump back over to our editor. Now that we are back in the CMS editor, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what that unit looks like on our site. So we'll go ahead and go to dashboard. Uh, once that loads, we'll of course go in and pull open our site. We went ahead and clicked over to that new tab. Now we just wait for that site to go ahead and load. Perfect, and now since we just opened up the site fresh, it gave it a chance to reload all the data. So let's go ahead and type in 2020 can am. Outlander and 850 and let's see what we find <clears throat> and right up top is our unit perfect we'll click on view details to make sure that everything is there and of course it used the stock uh, images from the ARI database as well as the stock uh, specs and features as well so awesome. The unit that we added in the IRI mobile app has successfully made it onto the site. Now a question you may be asking is, okay, Ben, well, what does the process look like uh, when you're setting up this app initially? Well, the first part of it, I can't actually um, film because uh, I don't have the ability to, but essentially you would jump into your um, your app store that you have, whether that, of course, be Google Play or uh, your 
uh, Apple App Store, whatever that may be. And the app that you're going to search for is ARI Mobile. The two ways that you'll know it'll be the correct app is one, it will be a free download, and two, it'll have the large ARI green letters like this. Now, the very first time that you open that app, it's going to ask you for your username and an authorization code. Now, how do you generate that authorization code? Really simple. In your desktop version of your CMS editor, complete the following steps. In your left-hand menu, you'll hover over Admin, go into Users. You'll find your name in the list. Here is, of course, me. So I'll go all the way over to the right of my name and email and click on the small pencil that we see over to the right. Then you'll go all the way down to the bottom of that next page and you'll click on Generate MIM Application Code. Then the very first time that you log in, or excuse me, the very first time that you open that ARI mobile app, you'll type in your email as your username that you have assigned here. And then, of course, for your authorization code, that is the code that you see right here. And then, of course, the very screen that the very first screen that you'll see is what we started with in the first part of this video. We'll go ahead and jump back to our dashboard. That is all I have for you today, folks. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this video. And until I am in the next video giving you more instruction, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.